Okay. Let us see how do you convert ratios into percentages. Suppose you were told to convert the ratio 3 is to 7 into percentage. So basically you are given 3 is to 7. So you can also write this as 3 and 7. So now normally when you are given these two, what does this mean? This means that 3 is to 7 means that there are two things. Let's say you had the ratio of 3 is to 7 for apples. Okay. Let's say you had two people A and B. So A has three apples and B has seven apples. So the ratio of their apples is three is to seven. Okay. Now how do you have, I mean, what is the total number of apples? The total number of apples is three plus seven is equal to 10. We know what is, what do you mean by ratio? Ratio means a comparison. So A has basically three out of 10 apples. So you can say that A has three out of 10 apples or 3 divided by 10. That's how you write it. And how did you get this 10? You just did a sum of the two ratios. So 3 upon 3 plus 7 or 3 upon 10. And similarly, B had 7 out of 10 apples or 7 divided by 10. And 7, 3 plus 7 7 divided by 10. Now, if you have to convert any ratio into percentage, so basically 3 is to 7 means 3 out of 10 is what was available with the first person and 7 out of 10 for the second person. To convert, to convert this fraction into percentage, you multiply it by hundred. So I can write three upon ten into hundred. So ten goes into hundred ten times or thirty percent. Similarly, you can write seven upon ten as seven upon ten into hundred or seventy percent. So I just applied this rule. And by applying this rule, I converted it into a percentage. So the matter was simple. The only thing is, first you need to convert all these ratios into fractions, which I think you would have understood as to how do you do it, applying this logic, and then you multiply it by 100.